Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and uh, welcome back to Mega Man. In this episode, we're going to uh, dispose of Iceman. <laughs> Iceman is like a perfect example of some of the robots in this game that don't even look like robots. He just looks like a little Eskimo. It's kind of ridicu ridiculous looking. Um, these enemies here, these robots, you're going to make sure that you shoot them in the head. You know, jump up and shoot. Uh, if you shoot them in the body, anywhere other than the head, they're going to like split in half. And uh, the top half of them is going to continue to swoop around and and, uh, and continue to attack you. So make sure you shoot them in the head. <coughs> uh, Mega Man's movements are a little bit limited while he's underwater. Uh, he moves a little bit slower, which, uh, you know, it's a nice touch because... That's, that's exactly how it would be in, in real life. He'd be moving slower on water. But I guess also in real life he would probably rust. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, the uh, platforms in this stage obviously are slippery because they are made of ice. Um, makes for some tricky uh, maneuvering. Here, uh, the disappearing, re reappearing blocks uh, continue to uh, drive you insane. Um, again, you know, just just watch the pattern. Um, I don't know what else no, what else to tell you. I'm having trouble talking tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, another round of the blocks. Also, at this point, we have the magnet beam. So, if you really wanted to just avoid these blocks altogether, <coughs> you could just use the magnet beam. Uh, I will be using the magnet beam very soon. Um, there is a section of this level that isn't that difficult, but it's glitchy. Um, it's one of the few uh, um, really glitchy areas that I can think of in the entire Mega Man series, really. Um, there are these platforms right here that you need to jump on, and, but they'll, you know, they'll try and shoot at you. But you just make your way across them. I can usually get first, past the first uh, batch uh, easily, but uh, I'm just going straight for the magnet beam. What happens is... Uh, you can jump and land perfectly on them, but the game thinks that you got hit, um, and it'll you'll take a hit, you know, like I did just there, but only on. It's hard to explain, and uh, obviously, if you fall off one of those platforms, you fall to your death, and I I'm not dealing with that. So I'm not really using the magnet beam there as kind of an easy way out. I'm using it, using it because uh, the area is just very glitchy. And uh, like I said, you, you can jump on those platforms, but the game will act like you got hit. And you'll fall straight through them and, and, and die, so... That's why I use the magnet beam there, just to avoid all that glitchiness. And of course, I got to finish off the level with another one of these large plunger-type enemies. How many else to call them, really? Simple as that, we're at Iceman already. Um, Iceman is yet another one of the robots that you can beat without even taking a hit. Just uh, equip uh, a Lechman's weapon and uh, hit him three times with uh, the electric beam. Three quick shots is uh, going to do it. And then uh, it's just a matter of jumping over uh, his uh, little ice shot there. Simple as that, really. And uh, obviously it would make sense. Uh, that we're going to use uh, Iceman's weapon against Fireman. Plus, he's the only one left. So, uh, I'll see you next time for Fireman. Alright? Have a good one. See ya.